Hello guys, welcome to day 18 of our 21 day ad challenge. Excuse any noise you may hear. I do have guys cutting the yard and so their equipment um, may come through the video. So excuse me for any noise you may hear in the background. Anyway, so we have stability ball abs today and we have three exercises. They're gonna be 45 seconds long with a 15 second rest in between. We're gonna repeat the three exercises three times. All right, remember the ball is optional, okay? We don't have any weights, no need for dumbbells today. Just you, your mat, and your ball. So the first exercise I'm gonna go over is called ball taps, all right? So the ball goes in between your ankles, okay, like that. Bring the ball down, and you're gonna come up with a crunch and a tap of the ball, all right? And then you're gonna repeat, just like that. Very good, all right? Second exercise we're gonna do is called pass the ball. Oh, goodness. This right here is gonna give you a double crunch of your abs, upper and lower abs, okay? And you're gonna be working those hip flexors, okay? So the difference between exercise one and two is you're passing the ball. So it goes from a tap to a pass. Very good. All right, and then maybe you wanna just lay, lay still on the mat after doing those two exercises. All right, so the next, last exercise is gonna be cross climbers. So you're gonna get up on your mat and you're gonna place your forearms on the top of your ball, get into plank position, just like this, and then you have knee lifts, okay? But I want you to cross over. So they're called cross climbers. So you're gonna activate your obliques, okay? I need to reserve my energy. All right. So I'm gonna go over what you can do. Let's see what you can do if you don't have a ball. All right, so we're gonna go through the same motions. All right, so we got ball taps. So what you're gonna do is hands come towards your toes, just like that, okay? Just like that. Then your pass the balls are gonna be similar, okay? Except you don't have a ball. So reach. Bring your upper body, lower body back down. So it's basically the same, okay? So you're gonna double up basically on exercise one, okay? Just allow yourself just a little bit of break in between, okay? And then your cross climbers, you can just get turned over, get onto your, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting you set up for a plank. Actually, we're gonna be more in a yoga plank for cross climbers. And this is what you're gonna be doing, okay? Great, great job. All right, so now that we went over everything, make sure you have your water, towel nearby, and let's get started. All right, I'm ready. I'm already in position for our ball taps. All right, so place that ball in between your ankles. Let's go ahead and do that. Once you do that, bring your ball down, and we start now. Make sure you're breathing, upper body is lifted, and then it comes back to the floor. Good. Double crunch in the middle. Hip flexors are working. Good. Keep your breathing. Exhale at the top. Get the, the air out of your tummy. Five seconds left. One more. Great job. So next we have pass the ball. So remember, it's, it's very similar to the ball taps. And instead of tapping, we're passing the ball. Okay, so the hip flexors are getting a double hit. We're working all fl hip flexors, these three exercises, which is good, it's good. All right, and we start. 
Now, pass the ball. Pass the ball. So you're passing the ball between your legs and your arms, upper and lower body working. Actually, if you are doing this and you don't have a ball, your the difference, I just figured out the difference between exercise one and two. When you're doing these, your upper body is laying on your mat. Okay, it's not lifted like exercise one. So the only thing that's really doing the work is your lower body here. Okay. Good job. So we're going to go ahead and get up off the mat. You probably don't feel like doing it right now, but we have to because we have cross climbers. Third exercise. All right. And we start now. Cross climbers. Breathing going. Good. Activate those obliques. So it's opposite knee, opposite elbow is your visual. Ten seconds. It's getting intense. One more. Wow. Getting intense, y'all. All right, so we're back on the mat with our ball taps. Ball goes in between your ankles. Let's go down. Ball comes to the floor. And we start with our second set now. So you see the difference between the first and second exercise. We are lifting our upper body off the floor, upper body meets lower body. Yeah. Breathe y'all. Good. These are hard, but they're worth it. Five seconds left. Give me one more. One more. Wow. Are you feeling those moves? Because I'm circling. I am. Okay. Put the ball back in between your ankles. We have passed the balls. And we start now. Upper body is flat to the floor. Upper body gets a rest. Lower body keeps up with the work. Oh, yeah. Yes, you feeling that? Yes? Hip flexors are no joke. Yeah, we got this. Five seconds to go. Cross climbers. Next, make yourself get up. Make yourself get up. Get on up. For those cross climbers. Yes, my clothes are sticking to me. I am sweating, boy. Cross climbers, go ahead and get position on your ball. And we start now. Come on. Good. Cross over. Pull those climbers.
can't look at you. I gotta keep eyes forward or I'll roll off the ball. Working the lower abs. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I didn't think we was gonna make it to set three, but we're here. All right. Okay, we got ball taps. Go ahead, place the ball in between your ankles. Get ready to tap it. Remember, upper body is lifted from the floor. Let's go. These three sets are getting intense. They're becoming a real challenge. I'd be ready to tap out after the second set. Second, y'all. Give me one more. <sighs> Pass the balls. Pass the ball, y'all. Ball goes back in between ankles. <sighs> and we start now. Let's go. Upper body remains on the floor. Lower body's working. Crush those lower abs. Yeah. Good, y'all. Good. Breathe, y'all. Breathe. Five seconds left. Give me one more. Bring it up. We made it to our last exercise, y'all. Cross climbers. And then following those cross climbers, we're setting up for our 60 second plank. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Let's set up. Cross climbers are here. Let's go. Uh. These are hard. But we getting through. We're warriors. Your knees are tapping the balls because you need to push the ball forward and not back, not towards you. Come on, y'all. Five seconds. I have sweat. I left my sweat on this ball today, boy. I left my sweat on that ball today. Oh, yeah. That was pretty intense there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish up. Because we got this. Yes, we got this. Let's go ahead and fix this mat up. Get ready for our our planks for 60 seconds. All right. You ready? All right. Let's go. Timer's on. Come on. Get the booty out the air. Breathe. Belly button to spine. 
hold. We done with the first 15 seconds, y'all. Yes. All right, we got 30 more seconds. We can do this. I know those cross climbers took me out too. Come on, y'all, but we can do this. We're strong. Yes, we've gotten strong over the last 18 days, right? We got 10 seconds, y'all. Come on. Five seconds. Come on. Oh, my goodness. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Boy, those were hard. And you know, if I'm saying it, those are kick butts right there. All three of them exercises. Today, we did a double whammy on our upper and lower abs. We did core work, yes. And then those hip flexors, yes. We definitely use those today. All right, so I need you to subscribe, yes, subscribe, please, if you haven't already. Like and share this video. This is definitely a challenge, all right? Tag 10 friends. Tag them into this challenge, okay? Copy and paste the link, all right? Share that challenge. Share this challenge. <laughs> and don't forget to stretch, okay? Watch the ab stretch video. Stretch those abs out, okay? Yes, y'all, I am tired. I don't have anything else to say other than I'll see you soon.